Shalom, a God back with another video. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. That's giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh by Shem, meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So this is part two to the Christian church being hypocrites, right? So we last spoke of how Galatians 5 and 24 says that we crucified that old man of ours, right? The flesh with the passions and the desires, right? With our lusts, we crucify that. Once you follow Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, when you begin to follow Jesus Christ, you put away the body of sin. We crucify that body of sin. We no longer serve sin. We no longer deal with sin, meaning we can't transgress the law no more, right? That's what we need to understand. We already went through the transgressions of the law being a sin. A sin is a transgression of the law. So without further ado, let's continue. Um, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 1. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh, and spirit perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Right? Take away that filthiness of your, of your flesh. And perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. Right? The fear of the Lord. Now let's go to Proverbs chapter 1. The book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, right? We are to be holy to completing the fear of the Lord, right? Now, let's get Ephesians, chapter 1. Ephesians, chapter 1, and verse 4. According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. So we should be holy in love. Now let's go to 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So we're supposed to be holy in love, right? Holy and blameless before him in love. We understand that the love of God is keeping the commandments. So if we keep the commandments of the Most High God, that's what makes us holy, right? That's what makes us holy. And the Christians will tell you, oh, it's impossible. We can't do that. We can't follow all the laws. It's crazy. But these are the same people that are marching around shouting out, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So now they got to add something to that, right? They got to walk around with a shirt that says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me on the front and on the back, except follow the laws, right? Because that's, that's the strength that they're carrying. They're weak. Now, let's continue. Let's go to Luke chapter 1 and verse 6. Luke chapter 1, verse 6. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. These brothers were blameless. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. So no one can do it except for these guys, right? No one can do it. It's impossible. We could do all things through Christ except follow the laws. But these guys can do it, right? Multiple people throughout biblical history were able to do it. 
But not today's Christian church. No way. We can't do that. We can commit adultery with another man's wife. We can do that. We can molest children in the church. We can do that, right? We can do all kind of wickedness in the, in the Christian church, but we cannot follow God's laws. That's impossible. That's hard to do. Let's turn to the book of Sirach, chapter 2. The book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his words, and they that love him will keep his ways. So if we love God, right, we're claiming to love God, right? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of, of knowledge, right? If we claim to love God, we should be keeping his ways, and they that love him will keep his ways. So keeping his ways means keeping what he said what did he say he gave us law statutes and commandments to follow that's what we should be keeping right if we love god sirach 2 and 16 they that fear the lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him and they that love him shall be filled with the law if you fear god if you really do fear God, you will keep his commandments. If you love God, if you really do love God, you will keep his commandments. If you claim to know Jesus Christ, if you love Jesus Christ, claim to love Jesus Christ, if you really, really do love Jesus Christ, you will keep the commandments. Right? Let's get Sirach chapter 19 and 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. So wisdom is the performance of the law. If you fear the Lord, right? Let's get Sirach 18 and 30. It says, go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thine appetites. So remember, 2 Timothy 4, chapter 4, 3 and 4, was talking about how for their own lust they turn from the truth, right? Sirach, chapter 18 and verse 30 says, Go not after thy lust, but refrain thyself from thine appetite, right? You're supposed to contain yourself, man. You're not supposed to live in flesh. You're a new creature. If you believe in Jesus Christ, then your old man should be hung on the cross with him, making you a new creature, meaning that you no longer, um, you're no longer under sin. You're no longer letting sin rule over you. Right? And sin is a transgression of the law. We must follow the laws of the Most High God. Now let's get the book of Galatians chapter 5. The book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. This is Ephesians. That's why I'm bugging out. The book of Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So... If you follow these fruit of the Spirit, you will be safe from breaking the laws of the Most High God. This is what we must put on, right? We must put on the fruit of the Spirit. Let's get Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. 
the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter fear God and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man this is literally what we were created for right and I don't want to seem like I'm going off saying my own thing I'm going to get it this is in the GNT the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13 after all this there is only one thing to say have reverence for God and obey his commands because this is all that we were created for simple we were created to follow the laws of the most high God nothing else now let's get the book of Revelation the book of Revelation chapter 22 Revelation 22 verse 12 and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be performance of the law right the work now drop down to 14 blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city those that follow the laws of the most high god and have faith in Yahweh Shai are going to enter through the gates into the city. I'm gonna close out with this last scripture. Uh, let's go to 1 John chapter 2. We're gonna read verse 4 to 6. He that saith, I know him, right? This is where. I'm going to bring the point home of the Christian church being hypocrites, being liars and hypocrites, right? He that saith, Salaki, this is 1 John chapter 2, verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word... In him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. Now here's verse 6. He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So if you say you know, you know Christ, then you should walk like Christ walked. Right? Simple. Don't, don't tell me, don't try to take an easy cop out that's going to make you burn, right? Talking about, oh no, he did it for us, we're good, we're saved. You're not saved because you're still here. Salvation, you need salvation from something, right? From someone, an enemy, right? The Bible says we will be saved from our enemies. We can't think in our imaginations, in our goofy ass imaginations that right now we are saved because we believe in Christ. It don't work like that. You are not saved, right? We must endure to be saved. Well, I hope somebody learned something, gained some kind of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, learned the new scripture out of this lesson, the duration of this video. Um, don't be a hypocrite stop being liars and stop being hypocrites get up out that church read the book for yourself simple I love my people right I wish salvation for y'all but that stupid ass doctrine has to go that stupid ass pastor has to go y'all need to get up out them churches man get up out that church that's the message here get up out that church right the Christian church is breeding liars and hypocrites so please leave before it's too late. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Shalom and Mawafla Babal.